And that's a question that we get a lot when we're talking about laminating and quite often you would get immediately the answer that you need to have two nip rows. And the reason for this is that for a very long time laminating lines have been equipped with two nip rows and uh, it's very easy to take this as a given that uh, because I've seen it in so many places this is how it has to be. But it's also good to think that what is the job of the nip roll and why you would want to add two. And if we think about what you want to achieve with the nip roll is that firstly you want to remove air out of the laminate. So basically you're pushing air through the leading edge towards the trailing edge and then out through the trailing edge. And the second job is then that the pressing with the nip roll is helping to create pre-adhesion between the interlayer and, and the glass. And why we are seeing often two nip rolls uh, in laminating lines is related to one of the most common problems that we see in the laminating process, which is having trapped air around the trailing edge in the glass. And what is causing this is that a traditional infrared furnace tends to overheat the trailing edge of the glass. And what this causes is that when you're trying to push the air uh, outside of the trailing edge, there's no way for the air to go and it gets trapped in that area. And so this means that adding a second nip roll is sort of a workaround for this problem. So it's not addressing the root cause, which is inaccurate heating, but it's giving the tools to cope, uh, kind of cope with, uh, with the existing problem and produce still acceptable quality. But basically, if you are able to heat the glass accurately enough to the correct temperature, there is no need to do this kind of pre-de-airing with the first nip roll. And uh, the modern heating systems, such as the Glaston Prowell, offers the tools to heat the glass to this desired temperature and do everything with one press. So it basically streamlines the process and, uh, and makes everything much easier. So the answer to the question is that it's of course related to the heating technology that you're using. So if you're using outdated technology with inaccurate heating, you definitely will need two nip rolls because otherwise you won't get acceptable quality out of the line. But if you're using modern technology that provides you the capability to heat the glass to the correct temperature, then using one nip roll is just fine. And it does provide you with some nice advantages such as saving some floor space and it also means that you won't run into situations where, for example, you might have a long glass in two nip rolls at the same time, which can, can cause some issues itself.